Hi, here's a quick little video about a uh, plugin that I really like. It uh, comes from an outfit called Black Studio Tiny MCE, and I guess it's called Tiny MCE Widget. And it's a visual editor for WordPress for your um, uh, widget area. So uh, we'll just go to Add New. We're on the plugins page at the moment. <coughs> uh, we've already got the plugin, but I'll just show you how to find it. Um, just type in something like black, I've already been there already, but type in black studio or tiny MC, uh, that will normally find it, hit return, and <clears throat> we'll see it come up as having already been installed just here, this one. Um, what's really cool about it is that we, by default, WordPress widgets um, have to be uh, the, the, the fields in the widgets have to be edited kind of with HTML. Plain text is fine, um, except if you want to create a, uh, a return or something like that between a line and some other bit, things, like links and stuff like that, it actually is quite, it's a bit of a fiddle and you've got to know a bit of HTML to do that. This <coughs> particular plugin is really cool because it, uh, it has what's called a WYSIWYG, maybe you've heard of that, most people have, uh, and I'll just find it here and we'll just We'll just put it in. Uh, it's, I think it pops up as uh, visual editor. Here it is. So you, you click on that and you say, Yeah, I want that to go into the um, log sidebar. And there it is, there. There's our new field. And when you, when you reduce that down, it just says visual editor. And when you click on the uh, accordion, we'll just call it test here. And what you'll see is that it replicates the, uh, the editor in. Um, that you would normally see in a WordPress page. You've got your visual here and your text. Text is when you're doing HTML if you want to do some hand coding. Visual is your WYSIWYG, which is kind of like uh, working in Microsoft Word. And so, <clears throat> therefore, if I type a bit of text here, and I just hit return and tab down, a bit more text, we get two lines. If you don't do that, if you don't use an editor like this, you have to actually go into your, your text area and you have to uh, create a a couple of tags like that which give you a double line a double line break whoops double line break between these two lines but when we're using this visual editor we don't have to do that we can just uh, whatever we see here it's always a week so uh, which stands for what you see is what you get and that's certainly the case here uh, it's a really cool plugin and uh, I'd, I'd thoroughly recommend it to anybody because um, it's just so much easier if I want to make this into a link I just highlight it click on here like I would in a normal WordPress page find a <coughs> page I want to link it to, add the link, and there you go, bingo, it's, it's a live link. Uh, and then there's all the other stuff that you want in, uh, in your editor, all the basic stuff anyway, so that, you know, let's say, oh, I want that to be a heading, bang, that's already done, it's already formatted, it's terrific. Uh, so I, I would thoroughly recommend that. Um, just going back to the plugin page to remind you again, it's called, it's um, by Black Studio, and it's called Tiny MCE Widget. And then when the plugin page loads up, I'll show you. And there it is highlighted. Make a note of that, it's, uh, it's really cool. And you can use that in your footer widgets, your, your sidebar widgets, and uh, anywhere else that you're doing custom, <coughs> custom sidebars and that kind of thing works really well. So there you go.